Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of the Green Wisdom Health Show. I'm Janet Lewis. And I'm Dr. Lewis. And we are here to bring you an exciting show about aging, because everybody's going to do it. And if they don't, then you didn't make it. Uh, But this week's show is called Hope for the Aging. There have been so many clients and uh, that have been coming into our office here lately that have talked about going to the doctor and getting on more prescriptions. And uh, we had one guy that actually sent me a list of things he's supposed to be taking now that he's older. And I thought it would be, it's sad, but entertaining to uh, to tell you guys about what the medical profession is trying to talk you into as you age. And we are here to help give you hope so that perhaps you don't go down that same sheep path that everyone else is taking. (laughs) You Uh, clean it up nicely. Thank you. Yes, toward their road to the end. We're hoping you remember it and you go in feeling great and not just barely getting there and hoping you'd have died 30 years ago. So with that, Dr. Lewis is going to educate us a little bit today about what can we do and what are some of the signs that you may be aging poorly? Well, you know, um, what I'd, I'd like to address something you've already brought up. We're not anti-medical. We love our medical profession. And Lord knows they bailed me out more than once and, and did a really good job. But the thing about it is drugs do not give you health. They're really, really good for a lot of things. But uh, I, I the thing that's upset me is there's a couple of older men that were told by their doctor to uh, get off their supplements because supplements were hard on you. And one of these guys' wives says, but this doctor is so smart, and he's got people flying from or coming in from all over the country. I said, so do I. And, uh, well, it, it just put fear and doubt in his heart. And I, and I quoted the Bible saying God didn't give you a spirit of fear, and she's a good Christian, so she left in shame. But sometimes if they get you off of these supplements, of course, I'd never get you off drugs. I'm not an MD. I don't, that's not my job. But the drug they put these two guys on, here's some of the most common side effects. Headache, general pain, accidents, nausea, diarrhea, sleeplessness, dizziness, tiredness, vomiting, appetite loss, muscle cramps, arthritis, depression, abnormal dreams, black and blue marks, like an old man, and weight loss. But some of the other things that happens, it increases, a, it gives you a much higher rate of death from heart attack, stroke, or sudden death, and gastrointestinal bleeding, and death from that, uh, urinary tract blockage, increase in risk of generalized seizures, and worsen asthma and other pulmonary diseases, and decreases liver function and kidney function, so... And you're telling the patient to get off of supplements. And here's what I'm going to tell you. And and this was in uh, in reference to neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. This is medical research, folks. Uh, there's plenty of it that says you have to integrate neuroendocrine immune system. And I'm going to get into that when we talk about uh, aging. One of one of this long. I've got a long bunch of notes here. It says hypomethylation, lack of B-complex. And I'd like to talk about lack of B-complex because it's very, very common for people to not have enough B6. And you have to have enough B6 to uh, allow the neurotransmitters to cross the blood-brain barrier, the so-called neurotransmitters that cause you to be happy and not depressed. B6 is extremely common, uh, uh, not having enough of it. It aids in the production of hydrochloric acid. So if you don't have enough B6, you can't digest your food because you can't make enough hydrochloric acid. Then you can't absorb fats and proteins. It's another uh, lie we'll get into later about they tell you to get off fats. Uh, B6 activates many enzymes, aids in the absorption of B12, which is an immune system enhancing function and helps uh, antibody production. B6 plays a big role in cancer immunity. Uh, It decreases or inhibits the formation of homocysteine, which homocysteine increases your chance of placking and uh, heart attack and stroke. It, B6, is useful in preventing calcium oxalate, oxalate stones. So when we see that in your urinalysis, we generally 
will put you on potassium and or B6. Helpful to treat allergies, arthritis, and asthma. Uh, deficiency can cause the headaches, convulsions, neurodegenerative problems. Uh, it can be as simple as acne, arthritis, anorexia, depression, dizziness, fatigue, hyper irritability, impaired wound healing, especially as you get older, uh, learning difficulties, and then impaired memory or memory loss. And it goes on and on and on and on. And it's like, and somebody's trying to encourage you to get off of these nutrients. Folks, it's not in your food. And I can I can quote a lot of that, too. So you've got to supplement. You've got to make sure it's a really, really good supplement because they're not all created equal. Some people say they are. And it's like, well, why do you have a second wife? Because the first one wasn't the same. Neither is the supplement you're taking. So... Well, on that subject of getting off of your supplements, it's funny you mention that. It's really not funny. It's really kind of sad. It's sad to see these two guys that were so much better, and now they're going back into their adult brain and can't function. Yeah, this uh, was a different story, and, I, and Dr. Lewis and I didn't even talk about this, which is really kind of funny. You know, God drives the show. So, um, He anyway. has to because, oh, well, I'm not going to say anything about women drivers, but I don't want to drive. Yeah, you sure cannot. <laughs> But this lady came into our office, and she's been doing our supplements for a good while now. She came in as a full-blown diabetic, and I mean bad diabetic, and has probably been with us about a year and a half, maybe two years. And the last time we ran her lab work, her blood sugar levels were obviously getting better, and it has taken her a long time to get there. Her kidney function's much better, too. Yes. And... um Her doctor decided to run lab inside the office there. Well, the lab they run in the office is never the same caliber as what they run at a big uh, diagnostic clinic that does nothing but labs like Quest or LabCorp because the in-office ones are just, they're they're cheaper, and so they come out differently. Different quality of machines and chemical reagents. Right. And so she had her sugar run there again. Well, it was back up. And so she said, what happened? She said, because it was down. I said, you know, just hold on, just wait, let's run it again, because it's where we had it last time. Don't get all upset with what he says. Well, the doctor got all upset, and he says, I know it's those supplements that you're taking, and it's caused your sugar to go high. And I I started laughing, and I said, you know, sadly, what did he blame this on before you started seeing us? Because your sugar was even higher than that before you came into our office, and he, he you had been under his care all yeah, this time. Yeah, he'd been treating her about 10 years. Right, and she said, I don't know. She said, but what got me because of it, he added another five prescription medications to the already long list of medications I had. And I could not believe that. I thought, you get five more prescriptions because he has one reading he didn't like. And then furthermore, he added to her, she she is a nice black woman. And because I guess she's black, he profiled her and said, how are you affording that? How do you pay for that? And she said, I don't really believe that's any of your business. And he goes, well, I know you can't have money to pay for it. So they're just taking your money. <laughs> I thought, Wow, he's really batting a hundred today. Yeah, he's stupid and a racist. Yes, yes. And so, uh, she came over to us all upset, and she said, "This is what he's done." She said, "I'm just, I just don't know what to do." I, I said, "Calm down." I said, "You're getting well. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are dumping in good nutrition that will make it better." And on lab, we can show that it has. So, uh, and she's losing weight and has twice yes. the energy, better mental clarity. Yes, she finally got a ray of hope, and then something comes along and snags it and tries to take it away. And it, it was just sad to me. And because of that, and I wanted to do this show on aging. And then Dr. Lewis has the, these other people that I didn't even know about. And then we have uh, Larry from Lubbock that always calls <laughs> in, and he was kind enough to tell me about his doctor visit, which is why he called. And I thought, I guess I guess we're supposed to be doing a show about aging. We're off track, but it's because God's leading this, and I'm not smart enough to lead it. Yeah. And, and he tells me that, you know, he uh, thought that he needed to have the the surgery where they do the uh, get the placking out of the arteries, but he wasn't bad enough yet to have it done. So instead of having that done, the doctor gave him a list of things to do to make it better. 
And when he started telling me the list, I, I thought, you are you are kidding me. Uh, can you send me this list? Because it is incredible. Uh, you know, first off, they tell him, and like Dr. Lewis said, I'm gonna, he's going to talk about it. He's going to talk about it now because it's it's this is it. Eat low fat and reduce or eliminate butter. Really? They started demonizing butter. I like I like that term. They started demonizing in 1953, which was before me. And our health in America has gone to hell in a bucket with these guidelines. Excuse me. <laughs> go ahead. You go ahead. I, that's that's great. I, I'm thinking you that butter's. A, of the very thing you need for your brain so you can keep thinking. You have to have cholesterol. And, you know, when you get your cholesterol level, it, when it gets too low, which is about 160 or below, it's been linked to depression, aggression, cerebral hemorrhages. That would be stroke, folks. Uh, and also there's a huge connection to sex drive, well, lack of sex drive when your cholesterol goes low. And we've talked about that, too. You've got to have cholesterol to make vitamin D estrogen progesterone and testosterone it you have to have cholesterol to make the bowel acids for digestion and and i could go on and on and on and on but listen folks there's plenty of books written on that the cholesterol hoax is my favorite there's cholesterol clarity uh cholesterol myth cholesterol lie get one of those books and make your own decision then discuss intelligently with your doctor, because I've never actually met a doctor that wasn't nice. Uh, I don't really think they know what they're doing here with people's health. I, I mean, they really think they're doing something that's helping them get well. But, you know, the title, it says on his sheet, low cholesterol, low fat. And that's got less to do with your diet. It has something to do with your diet, but it's got more to do with your gut function, your liver function, and your thyroid function. And tell them the oil that was recommended. Yes. Well, I'm thinking, well, there they've set set this poor man up for dementia, but okay. Uh, And no sex trap. There you go. The most important thing, Larry. Yeah. His wife is probably going, that's all right. Scratch scratch that off. Uh, And then uh, they told him to eat whole grain products. Yeah, eat, uh, read Grain Brain or Life Without Bread or Wheat Belly. Wheat is one of the nastiest things you can put in your body. You'd you'd better if you're going to do a grain, do something that's barley and hops like beer. You're better off. Okay, and, and, I'm gonna and, preach. And then to cook in, they told him to select canola, canola oil. Yo, know, read about that. That stuff is pure poison. Oh, 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 oh. Let me let me interrupt, Janet. Oh no, no, I'm done. Did, did that was you the know? Sheet. Did you know that women eating genetically modified soy and corn, okay, it's a little different canola, but canola is poison. Women eating genetically modified soy and corn products have six times the risk of breast cancer. (laughs) Folks, there's a whole lot of BS, that's belief systems, that are not correct, learn to think for yourself. And for the lady that a couple of weeks ago says, I just found your podcast and I'm binge listening. And I think, well, I don't think I'm that, you know, interesting. But and hey, I know we I, are have today. A, I, I have a real bad Texas draw. I can't stand to listen to myself. So I apologize. I am a redneck country hick, very intelligent one, though, and very well educated. But folks, think for yourselves. That's why we do this. And for the people that continue to share our information, and to be a blessing to others. We're not getting out of here alive, but the the thing is we've got to be able to live, and we have to have the energy and the good health to promote uh, our life to help other people and uplift them. Yeah, how do you take all these prescriptions? Because obviously if you do what they tell you to do on these lists, you're going to wind up with some more prescriptions. There's no way around it. How do you have a life worth living and be drugged like that? The the very thing that they're telling you to do is going to create the signs of aging poorly, like joint pain, fatigue and bad sleep habits, chronic inflammation, oh, brain fog, weight gain, varicose veins, skin and appearance changes, dementia, digestive issues, hearing loss. Those are signs you're aging poorly. And they will give you a pill for it. So why not just take a a nutrient that's missing out of your food to allow God's wisdom. Yeah, I get in trouble for saying God, but I'm not going to quit. Let God's wisdom function in your body. And sometimes I think, are all these supplements really working? And then I look at all the, well, 
people I grew up with or dated or whatever. Yeah, these supplements make a difference. And sometimes you need drugs. I'm not anti-drug, and I'm certainly not anti-medical, but you have to have a, a, a discerning spirit because some of the side effects that just one of the drugs that this doctor put this lady on that knew she couldn't afford our stuff because she was black, I don't know what that had to do with it, but uh, what most common side effects is liver irritation, loss of kidney function, which we just brought her back from you know having bad kidney function, Reduce blood platelet count, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, upset stomach, irritation, rash, hair loss. That's what's happening when she started taking that stuff. Dizziness, risk of infection, and it goes on and on and on and on. So so our our whole point of the whole show is to give you hope and to start telling you about some things now. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> now that we've got all this out of the way, about things that you can do to help with these issues along the way and not wait for this horrible diagnosis of, oh, I have Parkinson's, oh, I have dementia. Uh, don't wait for the label that you get from the from the lifestyle that you have led all these years. Uh, do something about it as you go. You know, we always tell people it starts with inflammation. Everything starts with inflammation. It generally starts with digestive issues. So if you're having digestive in issues like gas, bloating, belching, that's a sign that you're not breaking down the foods and the cells cannot get it in like it should be. So, Dr. Lewis, would you discuss a little bit about, you know, what are some of the things that people can do for um, brain fog and, you know, varicose veins and that kind of thing? Well, I've really gotten off track, but that's not that uncommon. Uh, you know, one of the things is essential fatty acids, and, and we have fish oil that's the best of the best of the best. There's good fish oil out there. There's horrible fish oil out there. And then there's the premier stuff, that which is not necessarily more expensive. Uh, reduced essential fatty acids and, and, uh, can lead to brain inflammation, which can uh, increase Alzheimer's by about 40%. Okay. So, and, and I talked about the B6 just a while ago. That's incredibly important because uh, it can reduce chronic inflammation. That, that's real important. And, and I know you can get on the Internet and they'll say, oh, don't do fish oil. For every good thing out there, there's somebody throwing rocks at it. And there's actually some scripture that says don't look for the bad and call out the bad. Look for gold in every situation. I'm sorry, I forget where that's from, but... Uh, we might be having a Bible lesson and, <laughs> and well, an educational series here. Well, you know, Janet sometimes says that I should be a preacher. Well, no, I can't because I'm not intelligent enough to say it without cussing. So here's a, an analogy of what Janet just said. You need to be proactive and do something uh, to promote good health because if you don't, disease is going to come up and slap you right on the butt. It's coming unless you do something about it. And that's one of the things I said a few uh, podcasts back is a wise man foresees danger and takes precautions, but a fool carries on and suffers the consequences. She thought that Shakespeare, I think it's out of, I don't know, maybe Job, I'm not sure. And for people that think it's so expensive to stay healthy and take nutrition, you're going to pay one way or another. When I hear some of these people's bills about being in the hospital for one day for $92,000, how many supplements could you have taken over that t amount of time and had a better quality of life, no damage, and... Or, or, or less chances of it, for yeah, sure. And, and that horrible experience of being in a hospital and going through that. T to me, that's enough that it motivates me to try to stay healthy. So we, we hadn't even, I hadn't even got into my notes oh, about, get into your notes, sorry. About, about aging. Well, maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> uh, let's, let's talk about something here. You know we're a big promoter of lauric acid and lauricidin for immune system. They have just put out an incredible um, skin thing that has lauricidin or lauric acid in it. It's called EpiShield, E-P-I-Shield. You might consider that if you have stuff. I already sold a bunch of it because you got, and it's funny, it's to men, uh, because they're worried about their age spots. Um, it's for what? Men? Age, well, it's, I've been selling it to men. Oh. I don't, that's kind of unusual. Um, it's funny that I think that men have age spots. I, I don't know. I don't ever think about that. It's usually the women that have age spots that don't want to. Janet has beautiful that. skin, and I have to work on mine. Can, can you get into the questions right quick? 
uh, let's say there was a question from I from Sharon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's it. Uh, yeah, because I've already pre-addressed these other ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sharon wants to know. Uh, let's see, not niacinamide as a deterrent to basal and squam. Squamous I can't cell. even say read this. Yeah. Well, you read the question because I'm sure I'm messing that up. Well, what happened was Sharon, and, and here's a lady that does what she's supposed to do, and then she sends in a lot of people, and thank you for trusting me with your family. She wanted my opinion on this research about niacinamide as a deterrent to basal and squamous cell skin cancer. I read the research. It actually looked pretty good. I don't generally uh, recommend niacin, but I finally found one that I can take, and you know it, it helps cardiovascular health. Uh, this time-released niacin from orthomolecular, and it's nicotinic acid. It does not give me that flush. Uh, so I think that's really good, Sharon. But I kind of think this EpiShield uh, might actually be better. Uh, there's there's things that I take. I take something called Vascuzyme. And again, Janet never tells me what I spend because she says I don't need another gun. Um the vascuzyme is a lot of different enzymes, and I use it to for vascular issues and to go in and it's v- vascular anti- issues like dementia. Not that you have that. I'm just saying to people that don't know what vascular issues are. Well, maybe plaquing in the arteries, and it's like, well, I take a lot of stuff, so I don't know that this worked. But when I got my coronary calcium score, the uh, radiological cardiologist said I had enough. Um, plaquing in my coronary arteries to be a toddler and quit worrying about it and so i know this stuff works along with a d and k and all that and my cholesterol runs close to 300 but it more important than that um my homocysteine runs low my c-reactor protein runs low my fibrinogen runs medium to low so there's other factors that you have to put into that equation so this vascuzyme is really incredible for cleaning up because it's the enzymes. And Dr. Lewis is talking about lab tests when he's talking about homocysteine and C-reactive protein. Things that you guys that are new to listening to us probably have no clue what he's talking about because you've never had those tests done because, honestly, an insurance company is not going to pay for those unless they think that you are having a heart attack or there's some kind of cardiovascular issue. That's why when you go through doing the lab with us, we can run any of those lab panels at a very low cost. As a matter of fact, one of those tests that he mentioned is on our comprehensive panel. We have 12 lab panels on our lab. We don't do the the nominal one to three that you get at your doctor's office. We don't like guessing at what's going on. We like a complete picture. And so if you're trying to avoid age-related health issues, you might consider, I would always consider, starting with the lab because it shows us way before you feel or have been diagnosed with a problem of things that you can change for the future. And the nutrition that we sell here is pharmaceutical grade, which means it actually moves the lab values and we do labs across the united states so it's not like if you're not in texas you don't get to see us we haven't seen half of the people that are our patients because they're all over the united states so go to our website at greenwisdomhealth.com fill out the health survey and then dr lewis can tell you what lab panels you need and then you're not in the dark about these lab tests that he's talking about that he's had you you will know where you stand and you won't have to go well i hope this doesn't come up and bite me i hope they don't put me on a on a prescription when i go to the doctor next time about something i didn't know anything about you will know what's happening you You will have control of your health my mother got into her 90s and she never took more than two prescription drugs one one for acid reflux and one for depression right people are amazed by that when you go, I had a lady in here today that told me when I went to the urgent care because she had a little emergency surgery, and she said, I went to the urgent care because I had was having a little pain there and thought I'd follow up. They could not get over the fact that she was not on prescription medications at her age. They could not get over the fact that she has normal bowel movements of three a day. That's what the lady was shocked over. She goes, wow, you go that many times a day? And she's like, yeah, I've been working on it for a long time. People don't realize that that's not normal. They think going to the bathroom once a week or once or twice a week, you know, 
That's great. And they can't believe it when somebody actually functions correctly but at an older age. St- but you stick a potato up the tailpipe of your pickup truck, and you, it's no mystery why it doesn't run, but yet you <clears throat> aren't excreting. That's what I like about you. You've got great analogies. Uh, I got something. I don't know. But, <laughs> folks, I, I've been so, so far off track, which is not that unusual. Uh, and, again, I've got hours of notes here I've not even gotten into. But, you know, some of the things that people have had good results with is just start with something called Core Restore. It's a seven-day program. It will <clears throat> generally revitalize, uh, increase liver function, goes to phase one, phase two. And we've had a lot of people that have bought it, gotten great results. Janet wanted me to talk about uh, membrane, and that's for memory, but it goes beyond that. And I take it. It's got the ginkgo, but it's the good ginkgo. It's got some called venpositine. And if you read about that, that is absolutely incredible to help revascularize if you've had a stroke or to help prevent it, uh, inner and middle ear as well as brain. And then it has something called huperzine alkaloids or huperzine A. You don't hear of that very much because usually that's more uh, used in Japan and places like that. I guess my memory's better. My memory, I think, is getting better and better and better, but I take that and I take a lot of things. I take a lot of the essential fatty acids. Uh, and one of the best things you can do is for anti-aging is resveratrol. And the best brand I've ever found is by orthomolecular. It's called resvoxatrol. And one of the things that makes it better, it has turmeric root in it, and it's the good stuff. It, and everybody's on the turmeric curcumin kick. It has the broccoli seed extract, which helps take out the environmental estrogen mimickers like plastics and pesticides. has trans resveratrol in it, 100 milligrams, and that's from polygonum cuspidatum roots. It does not come from grapes because people say, well, Dr. Lewis, I heard res- resveratrol comes from grapes. I'm going to drink my wine to get my resveratrol. And I said, I'm going to drink a screwdriver to get my vitamin C, too. It makes just as much sense. You're not getting diddle of resveratrol out of your wine. If you want to drink wine, Tricia, drink it, honey. You're doing fine. Your liver enzymes look pretty. Your liver enzymes are as pretty as your sense of humor, so keep doing it. But get your resveratrol from this. And it also has some called andrographis. That is an incredible, holy Jesus, wonderful adaptogenic herb. So I take the resveratrol, and most days I feel about 30 years younger than I am. Well, I think it'll show because you have the energy to get up and do what you want to do. You don't just sit on the couch all day and watch people on tv doing life oh and people say well i don't get in these uh chemicals well janet and i just had a trip to nebraska and back long story i won't get into but if you saw the huge several hundred thousand dollar tractors that spray in fields with chemicals we got crop dusted by airplanes more than once folks you're getting that i just passed a, a city truck here in longview that's spraying herbicides folks you're getting that in there you have to have an increased nutrient intake so that it can bond with these go through phase one phase two detoxify and you know squish it out through the bile go back to b6 and it's just very very incredibly important that's why that core restore works so well but uh, uh, i'm telling you, you can have a better life you can have a healthier life you can have a happier life you can have hope again you can have twice as much energy and you can rest assured that you've done god's work because you put in what it took to be healthier than you normally would have been so you're a better blessing and can take better care of your friends, your family, and your co-workers. And I didn't even get to page one of my notes. You did exactly what you were supposed to. (laughs) Speaking of friends and family, if you're wondering where all these questions are coming from and how you can get yours answered, make sure that you, if you're a Facebook person, uh, that you Add Dr. Lewis in on Shooting Straight, S-H-O-T-T-N, Shooting Straight with Dr. Lewis. He will add you to his closed group where people can ask questions there. Uh, you can also email us because we love hearing from you. We really appreciate your input. and We appreciate the questions you come up with. We, have, we really appreciate you, Larry, for sending us that sheet about what to take because it, it's just mind-boggling to me, obviously, we don't go to the doctor very often, so we don't get to have this 
invaluable information to share with you out there about what people are being told at their doctor's office. But please don't let them talk you out of doing nutrition and getting well. Their answer to health. You can do medicine and this. Yes. They are great at a crisis, but I have not seen anybody get well and have a life worth living being on a bunch of prescription medications. So with that being said, would you like any closing words? Because our show has come to an end (laughs) again. I don't know how. You know, the only thing I would ask is that all that God always give you joy in your eyes, love in your heart and laughter in your lips or on your lips. Folks, you can be happy and healthy. Just put forth the effort. Amen. You guys have a blessed week. We'll be here next time on the Green Wisdom Health Show. Once again, our show has come to an end, but your hope in your health is only beginning. If you or a loved one are in need of a different outcome and are waiting for a brighter future, take the first step and go to our website and fill out the health survey. Please don't keep us a secret. If you know someone that could benefit from this podcast, please share this show with your friends and family. You're only one step away from a life worth living.